with Dawn and Ian and um, we've spent four years and roughly about £10,000 um, doing various things to try and find our missing dog, Izzy. Izzy went missing in 2015. We were having some work done in the house. Uh, the workmen had come. Um, yeah, they had a spare key. So yeah, they'd, so we'd, 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 but we weren't expecting him that day. And um, he let himself in and Izzy being nervous of people she didn't know because she'd never met him before. She was frightened. Um, then, of course, the house alarm started going off because he'd come in with the spare key and he didn't know the code for that. And she ran out into the front garden um, and he then obviously panicked and he was trying to grab her, trying to get her back in the house, but because he kept on trying to grab her and she was nervous of him and the house alarm was going off, she just obviously got really frightened and just ran. So that was in February 2015 um, and since then uh, you know the, there was a very intense period of, of searching and looking um and then i think uh, you know since since then you know i mean dawn's spent you know every night every night really um so for the last you know on, on facebook and, yeah. and dog sites and and uh, you know learning some not so nice things um, about missing, about dogs, missing and dogs um and then obviously there's the nice things when they get reunited um mm -hmm. uh, and, and stories you know chasing up leads um, we did it we did down. everything i mean for the first few months she went missing i literally lay on this couch um every night because i was frightened of her coming home and me not hearing her we bought leaflets posters banners um huge banners that we had at at shows didn't we at dog yeah. shows and doing yeah. all sorts of marches and walks when you yeah. know it's been like carnivals mm. we did all of that we did mass mailings so we paid a company to do like mass mail shots mm. targeting every vet we could every groomer we could um, we literally walked I don't know how many miles around the streets just posting leaflets we literally cut up I don't know how many of Ian's t-shirts <laughs> into little pieces and went posting them into bushes and everything to try and put a scent trail around for her. So, I, to be honest, I was trying to think of all the things we've done and, and it's only when you talk to some of these people and they say, oh, remember when you did this and mm. remember, and you forget you've done all these things, you know, because you're just running around in panic. You're just doing whatever you can to try and find her. You know, she's, she's our family. Mm. You, you are gonna do anything you can. You can't physically, you know, when you, you've got your daily life, work, school for the girls and things like that. You can't physically go to the other end of the country to check every dog out, but you ring these people, mm. you try and find out what you can about them to rule it, rule it out. If somebody, if somebody did have a, and, and, you know, saw the, saw this story, um, and, and we just want her. We, yeah, we do. We just want, want her back to be, bring the family back. It feels, it's like a jigsaw piece with a piece missing. That jigsaw is mm. never going to look right. It's never going to feel right until that piece is there.